welcome to another dance TV. We're only around the corner from where we live. Lovely little bathroom. There's quite a lot going on though. We're going to strip this wall off, strip these off, and then we're going to kink span and reboard it. We're going to get rid of these wooden reveals. We're just going to board and skim it. Actually, maybe I should leave that on and just board that. Anyway. No, I mean, the other side ripped off, so. We're going to float that, or Liam is. Then that side, show that side. That's going to get floated in. The lad who, um, who lives here, Ethan, is really, really impressed that this YouTube is in his house. He's only about seven, I think. So, good morning, Ethan. You better listen at school, or you'll only be a plaster when you grow up. So, then OSB and skim the walls. Hmm? OSB? Uh, why do I always say that? SBR and skim the walls. Yeah, I love it. Put a lovely skim bit of them. chip board up. B drained here and skimmed. We're going to float this in. We're just going to float that level. Liam's already done a bit of SBR. Float that level and then skim your Rooney. Skim your Rooney and then go. Bit of pink stuff looks in on. Let's get started. See? What does Norman say? As you can tell, quite clearly a professional. It. Ten minutes on the job and he's already broken something. No, there's something missing. What's going on there? Oh, now he's blaming someone else. <laughs> I'm gonna open the can of worms here. I'm sure I've got a few shots of that though. Just wants a bit of a frame building, doesn't it? There's a thing there, so I can bet I could screw them on. Form a nib. I'm sure you'll bodge some of it. Not bodging anything. What's that technique? The use your fist and hammer technique. Oh, all right. You can get it in. Well, you can. Just break a nail off. See where the nail is. King Spangle. Okay.
Nu är det något att äta nu då.
Right, so a quick recap. We stripped the wall off. We're going to king span in there. I've put this on here so I can board and skim it. We took the window off now, so we're going to board and skim that. And then Liam's going to fill all these in. But we just want to get the king span on, and then we should be able to get moving then. We won't show up so bad. Right. But she just made a brew, so it's brew. Right, so I'm going to start king spanning. So the best way I've found <coughs> is way up what you're doing first before you go ahead. Don't just cut away. I think if I cut it in its length, if I cut it in its length, 64 and a half, all of them are 64 and a half. And then I can just cut whatever they are because they're all different. Put them in and then I'll have enough bits left over for all these little bits. So start with the big ones first. Then I'll go on to them, which are a bit bigger. Then these little ones. And then that slither piece there. Right. Let's get cracking.
Right, quick progress report. Everything is prepped out, filled out, boarded. That's king span, boarded all the beads on, everything SBI'd. So we're going to have some dinner and then we're going to rackle it all on in one mix. Whew. Better have a rest. Right, so here I am lashing the, lashing the window all on. Just filling my beads out there actually. You see I do a bit of a jiggle at the top just to get it squeezed in the scrim. And then again you see the jiggle, I like doing a bit of a jiggle, jiggle jiggle. Sorry about the camera, goes a bit dark here. My light was flat, so it goes a bit dark. It's not too bad though, the rest of it's okay, I think. <clears throat> Just filling my beads out. Always fill your beads and your tapes out first. Makes it much better. In for some more stuff. Just nice, easy. Just get a bit on, spread it on. Fill your bead out, lovely. We had a bit of a nightmare skimming this uh, skimming this bathroom. It, it kind of went off on the grey. Well, it did go off on the grey quicker than it went off on the green paint, which is obviously it would do that, but it went off a bit too quick for my liking. So we were struggling because by the time we got to it, you couldn't, it wasn't right, you had to do a bit more work and if you, you're working on a particular bit longer, you, you're sort of out of your rhythm. If anyone who knows what who to plaster, you, you're sort of all about getting that rhythm on and just getting the, getting the flow going. <laughs> Get in for some more. Lovely stuff this, this is the pure finish again. I love the pure finish. It's so much better to use than uh, multi-finish or board finish. If you've never used it, you want to try and get some from your supplier and get it used. It's absolutely lovely. It's lovely and creamy. Just use it like multi-finish or bond, uh, multi bonding? You like multi-finish or board finish. It's just exactly the same, mixing and, and putting on and everything. It just uh, it goes. It does go a little bit quicker, but you have more working time with it. If that makes sense, it doesn't set on you. It goes off, but it doesn't go off. It dries, but doesn't set. So it, it's kind of better. Well, I think it is anyway. <clears throat> Lash. So I've, I've filled out that bead, <clears throat> so now I've put the bead on, I've put the, the top of the wall on, and I'm working my way down the angle, working my way up the corner, get some stuff on. I actually got this job, it's only round, literally round the corner. I walk past it every day walking the dog, <clears throat> and she rang me and said um, she lives in Abram. She got me number off the football pitch, the local football pitch. Um, I sponsored Wigan Cosmos Football Club and um, I've got like a banner on the side of the pitch. So uh, <clears throat> she said, I think she'd either seen it on there or <clears throat> she'd asked asked the, one of the or the guy that runs it and he'd put it onto my he'd put it onto my name and uh, give her my number. Shut up. 
flipping kids coming in talking while I'm doing a voiceover. I need a studio. Lovely. <clears throat> so that's a good camera angle I like to see. <coughs> Excuse me, see how me putting it on, see. Bit on the toe of the trail, get it stung in the corner. At this point, I'm kind of, if you watch what I'm doing, I put it on, and then trail it up again to get it a bit flatter. And then when, it, when it's laying down time, it's easier. So what I ended up doing was just lashing it on, then turning around and laying it down. Like I say, it was just tricky this at this room because there was all sorts of angles <coughs> around the beads, the triangle, little them little reveals were only little nibs. It was over the door with the architrave on, so it was really tricky. So because the walls are pulling on this grey stuff, we've SBR'd and we've done all we can. Liam's going to have to put that on and lay it in quick before he moves on to his other wall. It's the same with me, I'm going to get my reveals on, lay this lot in and then put that on. Some of the footage weren't suitable to show. It was a bit dark, so I'm sorry if it's a bit hiddly piddly I'm back to a wall. I'm actually laying this wall in now. So I put the window wall on first and the triangle, and then I've laid them in. And I just butted the wall. Did you see that then? <laughs> We've been gouging the wall with the uh, light. Trick around the parks. It really was a pain in the ass, this job. For things being in the way of the small room. I know I've laid the window wall in. I'm going to lay the triangle in. When I mean laying in, second coat is what I mean. Some people call it a second coat. I call it a laying in coat. The, the guy I worked for used to say, lay your walls down. Get your wall laid in. If you're enjoying my videos, I've got plenty of videos on them, skimming over different stuff, skimming conservatories, um, skimming bathrooms and a bit of rendering a bit of everything so if you like and subscribe hit the bell and uh, have a look what's what's going on on dance tv and what me and Liam are up to if you want to leave a comment leave a comment i'll try and answer you i always try and answer any comments that i get Things were quiet at the beginning of the year, but it's really picked up now. I'm really busy. So this was a bit of an emergency job because she had a, she rang me and said she had a, I'm sure she had a plaster of boot in or lined up to do it and he let her down. And me being me, I like a bit of a challenge and I like to help people out if I can. I don't, and that's half my problem, I can't say no. The water pipe in the way. Oh my God, everything's in the way. I think plasterers have to be mourners. Most plasterers like a moan, and me included, I like a bit of a moan.
try not to mourn, but I do like a mourn. <laughs> so I think this week I've got this. I did a conservatory yesterday. Guardian, no, it weren't a guardian. It was a wooden, a wooden conversion. He took the roof off and put a wooden one on. Then I've done this today. Tomorrow I'm doing a conservatory. Um, that's a guardian warm roof. Then one on Thursday, and then one on Friday. So four this week. So they've really picked up. And to be honest with you, I you easily do one a week, two a week. So good stuff. Keep them, keep bringing them in. I enjoy doing them. They're a bit more than just a. Just turn up and start lashing mud on the wall, you know what I mean? You've got to do a bit of thinking, use the grey matter a bit. I know I've not got a lot of grey matter, but it does help. Liam's struggling with that wall a bit. It's not too bad because they're having aqua sheets on uh, where the shower is. And behind, where that, this bit that I'm doing now, there's a, there's a bath goes in front of that. So it's toilet, um, bath. And then the sinks behind the door. <clears throat> but my me, me battery goes in a minute. And uh, I don't realise it. So it's going to cut off shortly. So I'm sorry if I don't catch everything. But I just didn't know. So the battery went and I didn't notice it. Sometimes that happens. Right, that's the job all finished off. That was a hard day. My light's gone. I used about two or three batteries. What's going on? But we finally got it done. It was a nightmare in the end, but all the walls were different suction backgrounds and everything. But it does look nice and bonny now. SPR didn't help the machine. The SPR did help on the paint, but it didn't help on the bonding. We seem to struggle where the SBR was on the bonding. It seemed to pull like hell. It didn't seem to. It didn't seem to help. Actually, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'll tell you off camera. If you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.